Hi everyone, welcome back to The Sensational Crafter, where creativity and money-saving meet. It's that time of year again, you guys, where it's starting to get cold, and I mean cold. So if you've been looking for a fun and fashionable scarf to wear this winter season, but don't want to spend a ton of money, this video is just for you. There's no tedious measuring or sewing involved. It only takes two items to complete this project, and best of all, you guys, it comes together in about 10 minutes or less. Now that is what I call a sensational craft project. So if you want to see how to make this no-sew DIY fleece scarf, keep on watching. As always, I like to start off on a self-healing cutting mat. And for this project, you're only going to need a piece of fleece and a rotary cutter. And the piece of fleece that I'm using here measures approximately 12 by 55 or so. And as you can see here, I have the fleece folded over. And you want to have it folded where both of your 12 inch ends meet and they line up perfectly. And as with most craft projects, the measurements don't have to be exact here. So you don't have to adhere to the length of fleece that I'm using in this video. If you'd like your scarf to be longer, go ahead and get a longer piece of fabric. Or if you'd like your scarf to be more narrow and fashionable rather than wide for warmth, you can also do that. So this is completely up to you and your personal style preference. So as you can see here, I'm just taking my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut this into strips. And you want to cut your strips about a half inch wide and you want to cut up about four inches into your fabric. And this is just going to be our little fringe. So once you've got your strips cut, you're just going to go ahead and pull apart your scarf and tie each one of the strips into a knot and just pull like so. And you're going to just continue to tie each strip into a knot all the way across and then repeat the same steps on the other side. As you can see here, I've already completed one end of the scarf and this is what it should look like. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tie the other side. is it you guys that is the completed scarf if you found this video helpful or entertaining hit the like button and if you want to see more creative content like this hit subscribe also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload until next time have a sensational day